Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. In today's full length featured review, we'll be going over the brand new MSI GS66. This particular model is a 15.6 inch high end high performance model that is based previously off the GS65 series. So of course we'll start things off with our unboxing and we'll go from there as we go through the entire system outside and in and of course our benchmarks and wrap up at the end. So shipment for this particular item, it will arrive double boxed. So we have the cardboard box that is going to be for the shipping purposes, but then inside of that we have the interior box protected with these very large foam inserts. So that's going to keep it protected from any kind of crushing and shock damage. And of course it gives it a much nicer low profile appearance when it's being shipped so it doesn't look like a high profile item. So the large foam inserts are going to protect against crushing and shock damage, but of course here you can see we also have cellophane over the interior box and that means moisture protection. So if it rains or something happens during the transition of this getting to your home, it's going to be pretty safe against pretty much any kind of elements. So with the outside box finished, here is the inside box. Flat black, opens right away up to the laptop, which again has more protection over it as far as plastic covering. We can pull that laptop out, nice flat black. And opening that up, you're going to find the oversized cleaning cloth. So this protects the screen from getting any kind of scratches on it from the keyboard or anything, but keep that aside. That way, if you ever get fingerprints on it, you can wipe it down. Included in here, we do have a little pamphlet with some basic information on the system. But of course, nowadays, most of your stuff is going to be available online. So driver's discs and things are kind of a thing of the past. Now, the other small box that was included is going to have our power adapter. So we're going to have one power cable, which is going to be depending on your region that you're ordering from and of course the power adapter itself. And we'll get you a close up here so you can see the power specifications. Now if you can't quite see that on screen, this is a 230 watt power adapter. And so that pretty much concludes our unboxing and we'll move into taking a look at the system itself. So if you're not too familiar with the MSI GS series, these are going to be very thin, low profile, high end performance laptops. We have coins for scale and as you can see a quarter is actually larger than the laptop and a ruler for exact measurements. We're well under one inch on the front and back. When the lid is closed, we have pretty much a flat profile. As far as the weight goes, with the laptop itself, we have 4 pounds and 12 ounces of total carry weight. And once you throw in the power adapter, 6 pounds and 12 ounces. So you're under 7 pounds of total carry weight with everything. One of our first stops as far as taking a look at the system is the BIOS. So this is our system BIOS. It's got a nice graphic interface you can navigate with a mouse so you don't have to use just your keyboard. A preview of some of our system information, which we'll get into in a lot more detail later on. And your basic things here, such as your boot order, virtualization, C states. Nothing too crazy as far as your BIOS goes. Now getting everything turned on, we can take a much closer look at this system and as far as how great it looks. Very, very thin bezels around the screen, which means you get maximum real estate as far as the size of the laptop versus the size of your screen. Built-in integrated high-definition webcam and a microphone. We can have a low-profile chiclet-style keyboard with our embedded arrow keys. This is a good time to mention that these are fully RGB backlit keyboards, and you can control those keys independently. And, of course, it's called the Stealth because this doesn't look like a high-end flashy gaming laptop, even though it really is. The screen is a 300 hertz refresh rate, which is definitely targeted for gamers. And of course, all the other hardware that we have inside as well is equipped to handle any of your gaming needs. So here's one quick tour of everything from each angle as we uh, show the laptop before we go into our interfaces and connectivity. 
Other things to mention, of course, besides the Steel Series keyboard is going to be the Dyn Audio speaker system. So you do have premium audio on this laptop. And we'll take a closer look at what you have for your external connectivity. So on the left hand side, this is where we have our DC charging port for charging of our laptop. We have our USB type C connection, HDMI output, and one USB three port, which is type A connector. On the right hand side, this is where we're gonna find a single 3.5 millimeter connection for external microphone, the mini display port, two traditional USB threes, and our RJ45 for local networking connectivity. The other slots you see are gonna be your intake and outtake as far as the cooling system and you have no connectivity on the back. Now for the stuff that you can't see that's very important in our internal system specs. NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super Max Q Edition for our video card and the 10th generation Core i7 1070-5QH for our CPU. Information on our monitor panel here if you want to look that up. Again, 300 hertz, which is just an insane refresh rate. And that's running a traditional 1920 by 1080p resolution. Now here is a closer look at CPU-Z for our CPU information. And of course, GPU-Z for our GPU information. So now that we're inside of Windows, we can actually get to our MSI Dragon Center. And if you've seen any of the MSI laptops before, you know this is the major control point where you can view a lot of system information, make specific tweaks here and control a lot of the system, including things such as your keyboard and uh, other nice system tweaks. For those who are really looking to extract the most performance out of the system possible. We do have software overclocking available and the ability to tweak our fan profiles and such to handle the extra heat that's going to come with overclocking the system. So now that we've covered the system, the next section that we're going to get into is our benchmarking. So you can see the performance the system is capable of if you're not familiar with our review model, we like to get benchmarks and do both a baseline and an after. So this is our baseline of what the system looks like in an idle state as far as noise and temperature. So we have a sound meter and we're going to record the exhaust levels, which are super quiet on this particular laptop. And now using our visual infrared thermometer, we can get a view of our heat on the system. Now the usual thing that we're looking for with the heat is that we want to see the heat is leaving the system appropriately. So we want to see as much heat as possible coming out of the exhaust. And in any hot spots on the laptop where you might be in contact with the surface, you don't want that because it makes it for an uncomfortable usage experience. It's to be known that the CPU and the GPU used are going to produce so much heat no matter which system they're in. So what we really want to see is that the system is capable of getting rid of that heat and doing so as quietly as possible. As for starting off our benchmarking section of the review, here is Blender and we're going to start with rendering out the BMW 27 scene. This will test the CPU and give us a score as far as time goes that we can use against other benchmarked computers. And for this, one minute and five seconds was our result. And next up, we're going to be running everyone's favorite 3D Mark benchmark. So this will be a good way for us to measure our performance scores for the combination of the CPU and the GPU together. And during this benchmark, while the system is under load, this is when we'll go back and reevaluate those temperatures and noise levels. So we can see the system has definitely gone up a few degrees. We can see that the keyboard is actually getting a little bit warmer there 
and those do, especially on the thin light laptops, act as ventilation paths for the heat to get out of the system. But you can see the back of the laptop is working the hardest where those hot spots are showing through even from the front. Visually, things are looking very well. We can see those hot spots have gotten up to even 50 degrees Celsius, and you see the jet stream of heat across the table. The real evaluation will be once the benchmark is done, we'll go look at the internal temperature readings and make sure that those components stayed nice and cool during our benchmark. So now with our system under load, it's time for us to go back in and recheck those noise levels. Now these readings, you can see they've definitely gone up now with the system under load. The numbers might not mean a whole lot to you, and the best way to really make use of them is if you're interested in more than one laptop model, check out the review for the other models as well, and just compare the figures. See which one is quieter, which one has better performance, which one runs cooler, and you can just make A-B comparisons. So with Firestrike now finishing up, our score came in at 16,500 points, which is a really great score and right in line with what we'd expect with this hardware. The internal temperatures are showing that the GPU only got up to 67 degrees Celsius, which is really amazing as far as keeping the GPU nice and cool. Our multi-core, this is a six core CPU, got up to about 96, 98 degrees Celsius max. Now moving into the final segment of our review, the disassembly of the system. So we'll move right along with that. You have several screws to take out and they are of different lengths. So be sure to take track of that if you ever take the system apart because putting it back together wrong could cause damage. One very large mesh panel here, which is gonna be great for the air intake. And here you can see how compact the system is. This is the very, very, very large battery that it comes with, 99.9 .9 watt hour battery. So this is the largest battery possible to travel with right now legally. Because it is such a thin and light laptop, everything is very well fit into the system. Everything from the subwoofers to the M2 form factor solid state disks. So while it's not too difficult to get into the laptop for minor disassembly, most of the time there's not a reason to do so as the system comes well equipped with 32 gigabytes of RAM stock with two 16 gigabyte DIMMs. So there's not any reason to upgrade the RAM. And we do have a 512 gigabyte solid state disk. The only other additional thing is the second PCI slot is unoccupied and that would be an upgrade if you need additional storage. Now, as far as the teardown process for the sake of the review, you can see we've taken the battery out and our cooling system out. Many, many more screws to take out and we wouldn't recommend disassembling the system to this level. With the cooling solution now removed, you can get a good glance of the CPU and the GPU on the motherboard covered in their thermal paste. So this will conclude the full disassembly of the MSI GS66 and also conclude our review today. If you were just stopping by to see a new video, thank you for stopping by. And if you are looking specifically for information on this laptop, we hope that this video was able to answer it for you. But if you still have any questions that remain unanswered, please feel free to reach out to us and get your answers. Down in the comments section of the video is a great place to ask general questions that we can answer for you and everybody else. And of course, if you need one-on-one -on -one help, we have our phone and email available for you anytime. Please contact us to get that one-on-one -on -one help that you need. In closing, please take the time to look at the video description where we'll have more relevant information and the links to the product page for the current pricing and availability and full system specs. And we just want to say thank you for watching. This was Gen Tech PC, and we'll see you next time.